These guys are literally toying with me. <laughs> I missed so many shots right there, dude. Perhaps this is your perception of video games. Oh, these games are the best. More entertaining than educating. <laughs> Prepare to change that view. Oh, wow. And then click your thumb. Oh, here I am. It's 360. Through this virtual trip. Even the clock on the wall is accurate. Into an operating room in Africa. Cut in between. Mm -hmm. Just touch, okay. It feels just like the real thing. Very real. Because while our journey to the other side of the world happened, without leaving the campus of Southern Methodist University in Dallas, researchers from here did leave. In Zambia, cervical cancer kills more women than any other disease. Tumors grow and cancer spreads, while women wait months for surgery due to a serious lack of skilled surgeons. It is personal. It's very, very personal. Dr. Eric Bean believes no woman should die from a preventable, treatable disease. So this is the operating theater in Zambia. So he partnered with SMU's educational technology program. The patient is sedated and prepped for surgery. Their virtual OR is identical to the real one they visited. So I'm going to start by clamping the round ligament. And research shows the skill, speed, and accuracy of surgeons in training in Africa. And cut. Improve after just six 20-minute sessions. You can see the anatomy. This is satisfying if I can hit it. So good. Come here, come here. Why are you picking me? Can come from gaming. Systems that you know were out of reach two or three years ago are now affordable. What cost you know two thousand dollars three years ago for a computer and a headset? Now you can get for four or five hundred dollars. The only thing missing is a smell. Yeah. <laughs> it's a potential solution for a global problem. Okay, yeah. I cleared out some. To which Dr. Eric Bing regrettably has that personal connection. Closer to you, perfect. My mother was diagnosed with cervical cancer, and she was going to surgeons just like the ones that I'm training, and they couldn't save her. And I thought to myself, if here in the U.S losing sometimes. What about the developing world? That's right. Using technology to save lives could be Correct. his legacy. That's fine. Wow. You know, I'm like, oh, I can't do this so hard. Uh, you know, a little voice, my mother saying, get up. She needs you. They need you. And I'm like, okay, Ma, <laughs> okay, yes, I'm doing it. Having compassion and resolve, that's their shared legacy. In Dallas, I'm Teresa Woodard.